Welcome back to SiteTech in the Mountain, SiteWorks and Earthworks training videos. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to record points with SiteWorks. We're going to record some points out here as if they were manholes or water valves or anything that you want to transfer to Earthworks machines, like these two right here. It can be, like I said, manholes, water valves. It could be underground utilities, something that is marked that you want to gather with data collectors um, and at any point be able to see it in the machines. So what we're going to do right off the bat is actually start up a brand new work order. So I'm going to go into my menu here. I'm going to go to job setup, change project, and I'm going to create a new work order. I'm going to call this uh, the utilities. Utilities, finish. We can load the design or not. We don't have to, but I'm going to have it running in the background. What we'll do is go around and record these points. So now that we've got those, I'm going to go ahead and mark each one of these just as single points right off the bat. So I'm going to go into the roller stuck in the mud, which is the measure type. And right here, I'm going to just dummy in manhole. Maybe for the code, I'll put a uh, new. I'm not going to make it a surface. I'm going to leave it as a feature code, and I'll leave, I'll leave this on yes so that it brings me back in name them different times. So I'll go ahead and hit accept. We're going to go ahead and record this pot. So we'll call that manhole. We'll call this one a manhole. And it won't do duplicates. That's why it's manhole one. We'll come over here and maybe record these two as water valves. So we'll go back into our uh, measure type and I'll put a WV for water valve. Maybe I'll put old just in the code just to show you. We'll go ahead and hit measure, take the shot. We'll do this one as a water valve also, but it'll do water valve one. But I just wanted to show you the process of taking it from the rover and putting it in the machine. So. At this point, we'll go ahead and go into the machine, and I'll transfer that over. Now that I'm in the machine, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my thumb drive into the project. And I'm going to go in here to the menu. I'm going to go down to data management, and I'm going to export to machine. And I'm going to export out measured points. So in measured points, I'm going to send it to Earthworks, and it's going to be file name utilities. I'm going to export. Now that I've got that, I can come back over here to my screen, go to the project, and I'm going to import files to machine from USB. I'm going to leave it on the solid drive here, and I'm not going to pick anything because it knows to look in the project library. Just hit select in the bottom right. Earthworks data underneath here, I'm going to do the JATC infilled the data. So here this JATC is my project and I'm gonna do infilled data. I'm gonna go ahead and import that. Okay, once the files are imported, I can go ahead and hit okay or pull the thumb drive out. Now if I go back into my shovel with the gear and go to job setup, I can go in here to JATC and I can go to this uh, measured data option. So in here there's points and then there's utilities. That's the one that we just brought in and I can leave it on whatever design that we ha may have have out here. We'll hit apply. And now I've got at least those points out there that I've recorded. So if I had a design that was right here, you would see the design. I don't have one that's right here. These are kind of just floating out in the open here. But now let me change this main screen to plan view so it's looking down on it now I've actually got those and here's the thing if you zoom in on it you may or may not see all the information you want at that point where it says manhole if you want to have the code that I had sent with it you go into the layers option here at the top right and you come in here to where it says name for the points and you come in and put it on name and code icon name and code so now any of the codes that I put with it show up so manhole 
and water valves old and even those blocks that I had the points around it just is an option there. So now what you can do is go and locate them. So right off the center of the bucket, it, because that's where my point is, you can zoom in and see how close you are to it. If you needed to do it more where I actually did it on the one side of that cone, I'll put the focus point on the left. The only reason for the focus point would be to show you where the red dot is at that point. Here's the cool part is you can actually stake them like you would a rover at this point. So if I touch and hold on manhole one and go to select point, manhole one, and I navigate to the point, it would actually show me how to navigate to it like it would be a rover if I was staking it. The elevation would show up if I had shot a different elevation, but for example, you can see as I get close to that cone, I've got this dot referencing the left side of my bucket or wherever you have the focus point. So at this point, you can see that right there, I've got a cut of 160 to go down, 630 and a degree. So it's that easy if it was actually a point that was covered um, in the ground, it just navigates you right back to the elevation that was there. So that's how you record points with the rover and export them out. This would be the same thing if I looked over here at that, uh, that box right there. I'm going to stop the navigation to that one and you can see how close I am to those. Hopefully this gets out the point to you that if someone with a rover with SiteWorks goes and pre-records manholes and water valves before they're buried, you could put this in a grader, dozer, excavator, anything that might actually need to have this information. So thanks for watching this video from SiteTech Intermountain on recording points and exporting to the machine.